Oh, I know the one you mean. It came in two days ago. Well, I put it in here. I'm sure I have. Still, you can amuse yourself by looking through that if you want. Why don't you get yourself sorted out? I just Good evening, Miss Hoskins. What can I call you, Katie? Good evening. Detective Sergeant Watt. Oh, you can call me John. I don't mind. Can I do anything for you? Oh, yes, but I'm on business. Come in, is that patrol too? Off watch, old church. Roger. Come in, 325. Have you heard the... I'm glad to hear that you're busy, because, um, as you can see, I'm rather busy too. Uh, Roger, 325. How is that car lads doing? They don't use correct procedure. Uh, yes, 217. I have your message timed at 22.25 hours. Not a good thief catcher, that's the important thing. Roger, 217. Well, I don't know anything about thief catching, but I do know about procedure. They don't use it correctly. Now, look up. Excuse me. Thank you. Look, I've trained these lads myself. Excuse me. Uh, 231. 231, report to station. Duty officer, information room. What? Where? Oh? When was this, then? I see. Your name, sir? Right, you'll stay there, will you, till we get a car over to you? Right, thank you very much, sir. This could be a job for you, lads. All right. Uh, there's an explosion out Blackby Way, Miller's Quarry side. It's Miller's biggest. Quarry. Here, uh, look. Send Z Victor 2 to the quarry. Z Victor 1 can come over to Z Victor 2's patch. Uh, Seaport can look after itself for a bit. Right. Did you get that, Kitty? Yes. Right. Uh, Z Victor 2. Z Victor 2, go to um, crossroads of Miller's Quarry Lane, White Farm Road, Blackby. Uh, an explosion has been reported. Uh, Mr. Tom Rushton witnessed the explosion and is waiting for you at the quarry. Investigate and report. Miller's Quarry Lane, White Farm Road, on our way. You know where this is then? Ah, oh, it's up Blackby Way. Uh, it'll take us about ten minutes then, I suppose, eh? Who'll be looking after our patch then? Uh, two weary lads, who are. Uh... Well, the same problem. must think we're the crack boys in this outfit, eh? You notice they sent us, not Zed Victor one. Ah, oh, don't flatter yourself, copper. It's a bit near the quarry or so. Uh, I can't get the spread of competition into you at all, Bob. You know, you're that English, but haven't you turned courting into a team game so you would? Uh, don't do any course in these days. Aye, and that's another old English custom too, eh? Get married and stop living. <laughs> Don't you know a girl like Jerry's got to have a coat of all her life back? She's going to be unlucky then, isn't she? I'll take the offer myself of you. Oh, you wish you wouldn't have me. Aye, I have no chance. One-man team, Mac. So you're going to be catching more thieves than the weary lad. Oh, dead easy, Bob. She'll have a maiden's prayer against our brains and broad. Aren't they tired out before they start? Look at baskets. Anything going, you can tell who's favourite. Mm. BD to Z Victor 1. Quite as us. Uh, Z Victor 1, go to Z Victor 2's area and patrol until further notice. Z Victor 1 will go. Well, well, here we go. They get the nice job and we get the patrol. How do you know it's a nice job? That jelly makes funny stuff, you know. What makes you think it's jelly? Oh, near a quarry, you shall go. Thank you, then, my horn. Ah, well, roll on Saturday. Aye, uh, that's the day. You playing rugby? Aye. Nah, it's all in wrestling on wheels, is that game? Uh, Have you played Lee yet? No, no yet, but we will, don't we? Ah, they'll give you some stick with Lee. Oh, get away. Do you fancy a dollar in it? A dollar? All right. Right, you're on, then. Ah, the lads from Lee will give you some money. Look, shut up about Lee. Let's think about how we're going to catch more thieves than Z Victor 2 before the end of the month. Who cares about that? Well, they care in the office. Yeah, they care, all right. They give them all the good jobs and us all the rubbish. Z Victor 2 at the quarry, yet? Um, just reported arrived, Sergeant. You are going to have a shifty at this hole. Aye, right, Bob. You look cool, love. Well, I am a bit. Look at one on the front of the car beside me. Oh, oh you've been in the... <laughs> That's right comfy in this old cab, eh? Better than out there, eh? Well, uh, you must be fond of uh, fresh air then to be up here on a night like this, eh? He is. Well, now tell us, look, uh, what time did this happen, though, eh? Just before he phoned. It was uh -huh. uh, 10.49, Chief, looking at me watch. Aye, right. Do you notice anything, love? Any stones flying about? Anything like that? Oh, yes, they scratched his car all over. Aye, they did one of the springs in as well. It's going to cost a bob or two to put that right, I'll tell you. I'm not going to tell the insurance, do I? Help? It won't go the way it is. How am I 
getting home. That's all she goes on about, getting home. Ah, don't you worry, love. We'll send a tow car for you. What time would you like it then, eh? Oh, never mind waiting for the tow car. I'm ready for the off now. I've had enough of this place tonight. I have that. Motor cars then, love, eh? Depends who's driving, doesn't it? Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, looks like some jolly night went up. I'd better phone it through. All oh, right. Excuse me, love. Z Victor 2 to BD. Z Victor 2? Go ahead. Z Victor 2, reference this explosion at Miller's Quarry. It seems to be due to a load of gelignate exploding in the ground. I am some uh, fresh time, uh, What's that? Oh, and uh, there's fresh mud tracks of a car. Z Victor 2, Roger. Hey! Is that stuff what went up jelly night? Ah. He picks some places, he does. Yeah, that's it, sir. Blackby. If you could get up there right away, sir. Well, thank you very much. That's forensic on his way. Uh, the villains must have half inched it from Miller's Quarry. Check if they've had a break in lately. You give me one minute and I'll have it for you. Anything from Zedric to one? They haven't been talking to me, Sergeant. Maybe they're asleep. I've seen that old jalopy before somewhere. Have you? Ah. We love a loop. We do more walking than many a beat copy you do. Oh, well, it looks familiar. Maybe it's been knocked off. Who oh, knocked that off? He's left it there because he couldn't give it away. Door's locked and the front door's open. I think it's been knocked off. Look, there's a number. Ah, I tell you, it's a waste of time. Is that Victor One, your permission, please? It was that number. Eh? Uh, we've been delayed in proceeding to patrol area, having seen a suspicious van on a parking lot in Uxley Road. The registration number is Victor Mike Echo 309. The van is not locked and there's no ignition key. Can this number be checked, please? Uh, Z Victor One, wait. Z Victor Two. Inspector Abbott of the Forensic Lab is on his way to your destination. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, he'll be with you in about a quarter of an hour. Oh, hello there. Uh, check this registration for me, will you? I'll call it out to you. V for Victor, M for Mike, E for Echo, three... Oh. I've let that young couple of the quarry go, haven't they? Yes, sir. Some people pick some funny places to do the courting, don't they? I'm sure I don't know. No, you probably don't love at that. Taking long enough about it. Yeah. Now why should somebody leave a bag with the back door locked and the front door open? Well, why can't you get in from the front? Well, somebody's done it more, didn't it? There's a big lump of sheet metal behind the driver's seat. Z Victor 1, the registration number of the van Victor Mike Echo 309 is that of Jacob Ramsden of 17 Hill End, Newtown. A record of housebreaking and larceny. J.K. Ramsden, I told you I knew it. Z Victor 1, thank you. Ah, haven't it in such a bad night after all? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. Thank you very much, sir. We'll send a car up right away. Thank you. Ah, there's been a break-in at Nuttall's Toys Limited. That was the manager. He does the rounds about 11 o'clock every night, says there's a lot of stuff missing. He had a lot of leftover Christmas stuff. Says it happened between 6 o'clock and now. Hey, ask it. Nuttall's Toys. Was the door forced? No, they got in through the fanlight. Here. Yeah. That's Jakey Ramsden's method. Uh, Z Victor 1, go to the house of Jacob Ramsden, investigate his movements this evening. A suspect van may contain toys stolen earlier this evening from Nuttall's Toys Limited, Newtown Works. 
Set back to one, Wilco. When we get there, the old basket will say the van's been nicked. That's why it's left it open at the front. Aye, yeah, well, let's go. Now, just a minute. You could have the toys in the back of the van. Yeah. Well, we could open it, right? Aye, and we could go in the matter if we did. Uh, well, one thing's for sure, old Jakey won't be on any matter if we do this by the book. You'll have to get him with the gear in his hand, old Jakey. Oh, well, I don't know how you're going to do that. Look, we'll drive that van over and put it outside his front door and see what happens, eh? Oh, no, I don't like it. Well, if he has lost it, we're only taking it back to him, aren't we? Oh, well, I don't know. Now, the thing is, who's driving it over? You are. All right, I am. Oh, hey, Fancy. Fancy, you'll need a bit wire to start the engine. I've got some. 